Hello and welcome back to the channel, glad to have you here. Today's video, we're going to talk about three KDP low content, high uh, demand, low competition keywords that you can use to create KDP books to publish on Amazon KDP. Now these videos are designed to help to make the researching process much more easier. So if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, we aim to do daily videos talking about KDP keywords, also talking about different passive income streams that I have embarked on and my experience and my income reports on a monthly basis. So please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon in order to be notified on all our new videos. So our first keyword for the day is intermittent fasting logbook and it has a keyword niche score of 47, total results of 1111 and it has an average price of 7.49 so the majority of it is kdp published books so let's have a look here so now we have a good keyword i usually aim my keywords to be around uh, from 45 and over the more higher the keyword niche score the better but in this case let's go along and have a look because this keyword can expand to so many other keywords and sub niches that are all profitable now usually what i do with my keyword research if you are new to the channel is uh, identify the keyword look at some analytics and also open one or two books that are uh, published by kdp amazon and have a look at the in interior have a look at the description see where they are ranking see what keywords they're ranking for all this is essential for you to understand what kind of book you want to publish now please keep in mind we do not want to copy we just want to see what kind of books there are and get the inspiration that we need to make a unique book take the elements from all the good best-selling books and make our own book that will sell just as uh, better so as you can tell here a couple of really good books with great covers are ranking in the bestseller rank and we're going to have a look at some of the books open them up look at the interior and we'll get going now the most important thing when it comes to this niche is you want the key the covers to be very appealing because the uh, inside of the book is more of a logbook it's more of a, a kind of more of a checklist and aligned interior uh, for spaces to write in so you really want to focus on the cover so i've opened this book here you can do it today in intermittent fasting journal and logbook and the cover is really uh, clear it's really pretty there's a lot of covers there's a lot of colors there in um and let's just have a look it is currently selling for 8.99 and it has 10 ratings four star ratings and the uh, description seems to be clear they are using the bold as well as the underline and the bullet points so use all the resources and the tools that you have to create a really appealing description use the bullet points to make it easier for the reader for the customer and use the bold as well so just having a look here 107 pages so usually this is the amount of pages that you would need for this niche and it has been published in 2020 uh, and it is a large size 8.5 times 11 plenty and plenty of space to write in so as you can tell here opening the look inside feature some books don't have the look inside feature but this one does and we're just going to peek through and see what we have here so after the cover you have a description of the uh, journal and you have a couple of benefits that are outlined for readers to understand what they get out of this as well as a copyright page now i really like this page here because a lot of books that i see that are published on amazon dedicate a whole page for the copyright and this in my opinion is very wrong and it irritates a lot of customers so as you can see it is much more better to just you know dedicate a small area to the copyright and leave it as that also i don't see the the point of having this book belongs to in most cases if um, the book is targeted for adults 
please do not include this book belongs to. It's just my parents' strong opinion and I also have experienced reading a lot of reviews, customer reviews on KDP published books and the customers, most of their complaints is that they get irritated when they see a whole blank page dedicated to our copyrights and another page dedicated to um, this book belongs to. So as you can see here, a really clear interior um, that's just uh, made from a couple of pages and also what I love here is that there is a uh, unique uh, qu quote for each page so for each section there is a unique quote that really helps to inspire the customer helps them to get going helps them to feel motivated to track their intermittent fasting and to keep on going in their fasting journey in that way and also tracking their daily fasting tracking their weekly body measurements as well is really important and uh, also I would highly advise you if you intend to embark on this niche to do a little bit of research on uh, what is required for intermittent fasting. Now I know if you have access to Tangent Templates um, or Creative Fabrica of which you will find the link in the description box below for the special sale going on. Uh, there are interiors and there are great interiors to, uh, to see but just do a little bit of research to, so then you know what kind of changes you want to add to that interior that you purchased from either Tangent Templates or Creative Fabrica or even Book Bolt. So here um, we want to have a look at the reviews. Unfortunately there is no written reviews, there is only some star reviews as, as over here. So 57% have rated this as a 5, five star and 30% have rated it as a 3 star. So when you want to have a look at the reviews, please be mindful on the negative reviews. If they are written reviews, that's excellent. Pay attention to the negative reviews. See, is there something that we can change as uh, creators, as designers, or is it something more to do with Amazon? So the second keyword for the today is the Banco Score Sheets Cards, and it has currently a keyword niche score of 41, total results of 2,108, and keep in mind that this niche does expand to other sub-niches, and they have much better keyword niche score. Now, in, in order to see the uh, the keyword niche score as well as all the other details that I'm seeing right now to do with the analytics of this keyword you would need a self-publishing titans chrome extension which is absolutely free and it gives you all the details that you need to get started so let's have a look at this niche over here and in the end of the video i'm going to take you on a quick journey to creative fabrica to have a look at some of the interiors and to see what is available for us to use over there so with a keyword niche score of 41 and a total results of above 2000 it is still a good niche to embark on and uh, it's more of a, a rep repetition where you in the interior is pages and pages duplicate pages where players can record their uh, scores for the game and I uh, just monitor it that way so simple interior we're going to have a look at a couple of the interiors here as well as all the you know steps that you're all used to which is having a look at the competition, at the reviews, and a couple of other things as well. Now, with this one, I did not check if it is a trademarked term, Bunko. So please do keep that in mind. There are many, many books here selling as uh, this one is uh, has been published in 2022 and is currently ranking uh, really, really well. This one's also 2021 and it has a BSR of 1,200 and... Uh, sorry, 1,021,000 um, as well as other ones as well. This one right here uh, is also ranking quite well and they're all recently published. Most of them have been published in 2022 at the beginning in January. So keep in mind that this niche has a growing demand and a growing uh, amount of books being published in there. So might as well one or two books and see how you go with that now uh, also one thing that uh, I would like to show you just a little trick here that I use you can get ideas for keywords when you look at the title for example here just by looking at this title I get three ideas for keywords I get Bunko score pads I get 88 score pads over there for scorekeeping that's two keywords right over there I get a Bunko score pads book as well as Bunko score sheets 
that's a lot of keywords right there that I could also take a note of and go and do my own research using the uh, extension uh, that I've mentioned. So the covers are all similar but there are some uh, differences for example some colors some fonts and uh, some things that help the cover stand out. Now it's a really good idea when it comes to simple interiors to um, just simply make a copy of the interior and use it as a cover with some little changes here and there. So as you can see here the cover is simply a, a page of one of the interiors and they've included the title, they've included a sticker and they've included some elements to really help it stand out and that's really nice because the customer can see quickly what they are buying, what they're getting. So this one seems to be ranking as a bestseller but there's one thing here, one issue, I don't understand why it's ranking as a bestseller in Iraq travel guides. Now I'm originally from Iraq so this game has no connection at all to Iraq and it's of course not a travel guide so I think this is an error on behalf of Amazon but it is ranking really well and it is selling uh, uh, also a lot so I'm not sure why they've uh, put it in the wrong category. Apart from that, being published in 2021 and the description seems to be quite well, of course with the use of bold um, and a couple of other elements here such as the bullet points, the, um, the caps lock when needed just to get attention to specific words and let's have a look at the interior as well just to confirm what we are dealing with. So then again, simple cover and they've really high highlighted the fact that they're getting 8 888 score games in there now this page here I'm, i was really interested in this one and i've seen it a couple of times on different interiors it's basically to help connect with the customer even after the purchase so there's a qr code which you can create for free using canva and once the customer has purchased the book and they've scanned the qr code they also will get a free book uh, through their email which of course is so easy to create using Canva using uh, temp templates from Creative Fabrica to just give a, out a free book that's connected to the game and also there's a special request right here which says that if this book has helped you please let us know by leaving an honest review on Amazon. So repetitive pages right over here, duplicate pages, nothing added, nothing really complicated. This niche is actually one of the most easiest niches that I've seen so far while doing my research. So keep in mind, I would publish one or two books minimum under this niche and make it a different interior, make more of a feminine one and a, a more of a feminine one and a, a masculine one using different colors as well. Also, I would insert an instruction sheet for beginners that are not used to the game. Maybe that also adds. Now, then again, going back to where it's ranked, I still don't understand why it's ranked under travel guides. Three ranks, uh, three categories under the travel guides. No idea right there. So we've got a good, really good review. 100% five star reviews. Uh, just perfect. So as you can see, really good niche to embark on, and I think that it has a lot of potential. Our third niche for the day is home renovation planner, and it currently has a keyword niche score of 43, and the total results really outstanding. 450 which is under 1000 amazing it's actually under 500 which is even more better and it, it has a great potential as well now as you can have a look here the average price is 1756 so there is a mix of kdp uh, books as well as uh, other uh, high quality um, or high content books that are published here so it is a mix you might want to filter books that are sold by Amazon which of course you can find under that sticker um, just under the uh, the BSR score which says sold by Amazon um, but just focus on log books or more like planners that are um, that seem to be made by KDP just so we know what we're competing against so we've got a great book here ranking um, 70,033 and we've got also some other books as well. Now as you can tell here there is um, different covers uh, that are very colourful 
either very colorful or they have a big text to really grab attention and you want to know who you're creating for who is your customer is it a female is it a male what is their uh, job what is their intention what do they want to get out of the home renovation planner and now you'll be able to find a lot of interiors now we've opened a first example of that and we'll just have a look at the interior once we have the look inside feature so we can see what we can get and remember please use the interior and any other element in that uh, page where the book is as inspiration it'll give you a lot of ideas where to get started it'll give you a lot of background information that you would need to make a better version of this book so it's currently selling for $6.95 and it has a four star rating uh, of 10 ratings and uh, a very uh, very big description as you can tell here having a look it just outlines the different parts of the interior because there seems to be six sections inside the interior each section is dedicated to a room in the house that uh, allows the customer to plan out in detail each of the rooms the bathroom uh, the backyard everything like that so this is more for a larger home you might want to also make a version for an apartment for a smaller house it's all up to you just customize it as you want then again we have this planner belongs to not really a big fan of that um, but as you can see here it is uh, having an order of contents because it seems to be a large book and as you can tell here we've got a section for the kitchen and it allows the customer to make everything from room measurements, sketches, outline the furniture that is there and also have a layout plan and a to-do list as well as some quotes for the different companies or the different uh, construction workers that they're working with and also purchases. So this is the same pages for each of the sections of the house each of the rooms of the house and this allows an intensive uh, outline for the customer to really make notes as well then again we've come to the living room the same system right here a whole page dedicated more of a, a log book and uh, it, at the end of the book it does show you what uh, the main pages of the book are so customers can get a little bit of a sneak peek and I'm always a big fan of having the uh, back of the uh, cover with some sneak peek information either in writing or as screenshots of the main pages so you might want to use that as well and also one of my favorite things is that they have inserted an instruction sheet as well as a contents sheet in the interior because you are dealing with a lot of different interiors and different pages dedicated to each of the rooms so you want to help to organize things and make it easier for the customer and it's ranking in decorative arts and it seems to be having good reviews uh, this one here says returned Laurie says it has been returned why because every page is the same now as you can tell we had a look at the interior every page is not the same so I'm guessing this is an error a painting error on behalf of Amazon that needs to be fixed because the creator seems to have uh, made a great job at uh, dedicating different pages to the different rooms uh, by having a look at the inside features so uh, that's something that is uh, an Amazon problem unfortunately so you can't make everyone happy there's always going to be some sort of problem that you are not in control of so keep that in mind and don't let that discourage you so these are the three niches that we had a look at intimate plastic logbook bunker score sheets and also home re uh, renovation planner right now here we're in creative fabric I'll just have a look at the last niche and see what kind of interiors are available so if you're watching this as of today and you want to take advantage of the one dollar for the whole full month uh, of creative fabric i highly advise you to do so you'll find the link in the description box below that will allow you one dollar for your first month and that covers a, a subscription to everything from interiors graphics uh, fonts as well as even the classes that are there to help you and guide you on what you need to do so we've got a couple of different interiors that you can use that really help to inspire you just for that last niche that we had a look at as well as for the other niches as well so even if you do not have a subscription and you just want like to have a sneak peek 
feel free to go to the website linked below in the description box and write in your niche in the search bar search by KDP interiors by going through this graphic section and all the interiors will appear for you and they're also can be purchased individually as well so this interior right there seems to be a great one because i do have this, this subscription i can download an unlimited number of interiors graphics and fonts so i'm just gonna go ahead and download that and it seems to be quite um details now keep in mind although you are getting the interior ready made you do want to make some changes some simple things such as adding some elements to that so right now we're just having a look at the interior that is available at creative fabrica and this is for the home renovation planner and we're going to do that for each of the main three kdp keywords that we've discussed so as you can tell you the interior is really simple so in this case if it is over 100 pages which it is usually they have a uh, gpg or png format which i can upload to canva as a single upload and uh, make the sizing correct which is usually an 8.5 times 11 and then I would uh, upload that to Canva make a couple of changes and it would be good to go so our next video I will talk about how I change the interior in Canva so stay tuned so thank you so much for watching the video if you enjoyed today's content like share and subscribe I'd love to have you on board and I'll see you in the next one take care and enjoy your day bye bye